CentralValleyTalk.com Be here and listen Hello everybody, welcome back. This is CBT Weekly News, Monday, July 25th, 2011. We've got very special guests for you guys here today. The, the Red Coats. And uh, first, before we bring them on, we're going to play their music video. Uh, called the Red Light Special, correct? <laughs> Red Light Revolver, I'm sorry. <laughs> Red Light Revolver. Uh, that's what happens when I don't have things written down in front of me, because I'm never good with names. But uh, Red Light Revolver, it's a great music video. I've watched it s so many times. Even my kids have slipped through it and just enjoy it. So uh, why don't we take a look, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the commercial, or uh, the uh, video, the music video, and we'll have them on in just a couple minutes. Take a look.
Welcome back, everybody. CBT Weekly News, and we got a little bit of an echo for a moment there, because we were listening to the music video, too. Um, now, I'd like to introduce you guys to uh, the Red Coats. Two-thirds oh, of the Red Coats. Yes, two-thirds. Yes. Uh, now, what are you guys' names? I'm Gabriel Francisco. Bobby Jenkins. Well, thank you so much for coming, guys. Well, why don't we tell our audience a little bit about you guys, like how you got started and such. Uh, Bobby, you want to take it? or I'll take this one. Yeah. Uh, about two and a half years ago? Yeah. First of all, in junior high, <laughs> I've been bugging this kid to play, you know, guitar with me because I've been playing drums for a while, and he's always turned me down. Said no, no, thank you. And then finally, our freshman year, he was like, okay, I'll give him a try. About the end of freshman year, beginning of sophomore year, yeah. say I'll give him a try, and I guess he liked me there. I don't know. <laughs> but then I, I ran out of options. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, thank you for that. Uh, <laughs> fate. And then. Uh, he called me a little bit after I played with him, uh, asking if I wanted to audition with him and this other guitarist for uh, Day on the Green. It's where all these bands play for the school at lunch. And after that, it's pretty much where it started. Yeah, we've been playing individually longer than that. We've each been playing for all, almost about five years individually. And then our bassist, Nick, who's not here today, he's sick. He's been playing for about ten years. Wow. Yeah. So you guys all have a lot of experience behind you. A decent, I think decently enough, yeah. Yeah, decent enough. I mean, for the fact that you guys are still in school. Yeah, yeah we're graduating <laughs> this year. Exactly. Now, um, where did you guys come up with the name? Oh, Papa. Oh, okay. Uh, there was a, a music, yeah, because a lot of controversy on it. People think we're Russian or, uh, <laughs> or communist or, or anti-American or, or, or British, mm -hmm. and it's, it's none of that. There's a, <laughs> we love America. We have a song called Free World that says U.S. of A over and over again. Um, it's just about, there's a, a, a music video for the Beatles, uh, for the song Penny Lane, and in the video there's a, it's like small clips, you have to look for it too almost, where they're wearing red coats. And I remember watching this and I really like the red coats, and I like the way that sounded, the red coats. And that was, that was really it, it was really innocent. And I thought it had a, a nice, I thought it a potentially iconic sound. Right. I think band names are very important. Some, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would agree, considering, you know, one bad name can kill a band, you know, no matter Hoopa how stink. good the music is. <laughs> the stink. Maybe not that good of music, but <laughs> that's an example of a bad band name. Yeah. yeah, although I think that was one of the few that stood out that attracted people. <laughs> that's like a gross name, though. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's, there's some out there that you just, what were they thinking? Yeah, yeah. And it, it, even if their music's good, it just doesn't catch on because you yeah. hear it on the, on the car and it's like, eh, I'm not going to watch them. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But um, you guys... some great band names out there, like Led Zeppelin, that's yeah, a great name. Exactly. Band. Kiss, you hear Kiss and you're like, whoa. Especially for that era. Yeah. That era. <laughs> uh, the free love times, you're just coming off that and you hear Kiss. There's wow. not so great things like uh, Justin Bieber. <laughs> oh, that's the... <laughs> That's the sign of the first of controversies. <laughs> well, well, let's be honest here. Going by I your name wouldn't have been a bad thing, Justin Bieber. If his music was something that you know could attract, it didn't sound crowd. like a nine-year-old boy whining. Okay, that was that's the. Whole I just point. I'm sorry. I have to bring up something. Someone like Justin Bieber. No offense to anyone that likes him. I'm just saying, if you're that young, you haven't probably hit puberty, so your voice is obviously going to change. He's actually 17. Yeah, I was no, going to say he's and, definitely okay, hit puberty well, considering like, who he's he dating. He first started singing. Like if you watch the movie, yeah, I don't want to get sued by his lawyers. Let's let's go on. Yeah. Uh, well, no, no. I think we should actually talk. That's actually one of the the deal. points of the band. The whole the whole point is that we got tired of hearing really bad contemporary music, and not it's not all bad. Like oh, we like there's a lot of contemporary bands. We like, I like the Killers a lot. Bobby likes Weezer. Oh. There's a lot of really neat bands out there, but there's stuff on the radio where you're thinking, how did they get a record deal, and why is this selling so well? And it's just terrible when there's such great music out there. There's Led Zeppelin, there's the Beatles, there's Queen, the Doors, and you're thinking, why is this even in the world right now? And uh, contemporary too, with, like the genre. I think I don't want people to think we're cocky because we're not cocky. We're very modest. We just work really hard. Mm -hmm. And the genre that I like to push out there is like I think it's been around, but no one's coined the phrase. Uh, we've been calling it like new classic rock. And there's bands that sound reminiscent of like '70s bands, like the White Stripes. Which Bobby doesn't care for because of the drumming, which is that's his instrument, <laughs> and Wolf Mother. I think the two okay. bands that really carry this, like, like that's what rock and roll should sound like, yeah. in my opinion, and that's what modern music should be. And we're trying to, I think we're the first ones that kind of jumped on the bandwagon, intentionally saying, we want to bring this back. We yeah. really like this kind of without music. being a cover band. Without being a cover band, right. yes, trying to write originals that sound uh, reminiscent and just homage, like an homage yeah. to. Yeah. It all, it, when I first heard your music at the um, the Heart of the Horse Ranch uh, event that we had going on, I, I was bringing back to days of uh, Pink Floyd, 
Wow, Led Zeppelin. So that means a lot. I'm like, and that was an off day. We were there for 16 hours, and we were extremely tired. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. It was, it, it, as part of CBT, I'm going to apologize for the confusion on all that. Oh. <laughs> uh, Be I there at from, six in the morning. <laughs> six in the morning. It didn't start playing until about six in the evening. <laughs> no, no, at, later. Later. Eight thirty. Eight thirty. Whoa. I know it was getting dark as you guys were playing. I mean, it, yeah, it did get dark. We lost, we lost the us. lights four yeah. songs in. Yeah, I mean, that was kind of cool though. How all of a sudden it was started light and then it just gets darker and darker and darker <laughs> while you're playing. Which is, it was well, really they had cool. your lights off. It was the bugs were attacking us. Yeah, that's it was cool. <laughs> it was cool until I couldn't see my guitar neck. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it was great music. Even though well, thank you guys, we're really, really tired. And stuff. Really appreciate you guys that. did a great job. Um, we do have to go to commercial break, but we'll be coming back. We'll be talking with you guys some more, and then we'll be playing a performance you guys did. Here at the studio uh, a couple, about a month and a half yeah, ago? About a month and a half ago, yeah. yeah. Um, so stay tuned, guys. we got more for you with uh, the Redcoats. Stay tuned. CentralValleyTalk.com Welcome back, everybody, to CBT Weekly News, Monday, July 25th, 2011, and we've got the Redcoats with us still. Thank you guys for staying with us. Thank and you for having us, definitely. <laughs> well, hey, like I said, we love your music. It's been great. Hey, you guys will probably be on a couple, another, a couple more times on the other shows. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. If anything, maybe uh, ta uh, ta uh, what is it? Tattoos and you? music reviews. Oh, okay. That they one. might end up playing uh, one of your music videos. You never know. We'd love that. Yeah. And, and you more, guys, the more promotion, the better. Right. And you guys have been on Tower TV, which yes. used to be part of us. We're still friends with them. So <laughs> they they play. We weren't on it. They played our video and they talked about us, which is okay. really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Did they talk with you guys? Or they no, just, not at all. No. They just talked. They yeah. described our music as melting your face off. <laughs> People that watch the YouTube stuff too aren't familiar with more of like the rock rock songs that we do because we haven't been able to post them. But uh, those should be coming up soon. We're going to be back in the studio uh, with two new tracks that are uh, rock 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 songs. Really right. And then did you play any of those at the concert? Yeah, we did. The okay. track Wrecking Ball and then Human Battery. Okay, because I recorded your guys' thing, thing, but <laughs> the first one with the drum solo like every two seconds. Yeah. Right. But I was told uh, let's just use the music video instead because you guys yeah. are all tired. So. <laughs> We, yeah, we didn't want those to reach a lot of day until afterward, somewhere. Exactly. <laughs> now, um, you, you've got a lot of things going on right now with your uh, scheduling. So why don't we tell people about like what events you're doing or you just finished, etc. Well, we had about five, six shows in a row, which was really nice. That's what we like. And uh, we're finishing that up. Now we have uh, this Wednesday, we're playing at Audi's Olympic at 9 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And that should be very nice. We're opening up for uh, Style Egg Revelators who are opening up for Tyler Jakes, who was on the soundtrack for Daily Is Catch. So, wow. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's cool. Uh, we just got to play with Obadiah Parker uh, about a week ago. You guys know his cover? Cup of Joe. Yeah, at Cup of Joe. He did Hey Y'all. It's cool because he actually opened up for us that way. That was awesome. Uh, and then next Wednesday, we're in a Battle of the Bands, Battle of the Blaze Fest, where we have an opportunity to open up for Cheap Trick. Oh, wow. Really yeah. That would be the biggest thing that's happened in a while. That's yeah. a big band. I love Cheap Trick. Dream Police. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, but you, well, you brought a CD with it. Yes, these are off. Let's talk about this. Yeah, there's the camera. These are available <laughs> at all you of can our zoom shows. In. Yeah. Ask. Should I? Oh no no no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Manual that's what zoom in. For. Well, we've done that before too. But. <laughs> yeah, these are available yeah. at all of our shows, <laughs> and we have a we have a little booth set up in there. It's the EP. The EP is called Tour de France. Oh. There you go. Oh. Whoa. There, there, there you go. <laughs> this is the back. This is the front. It's called Tour de Force, and it has three tracks on it. We're trying to, we're going to add to that, though. It should be five soon when we get back in the studio. It was, we want to make it worth people's money. Right. That's Do you guys also have um, other other stuff that you sell? I'm sure T-shirts, bumper stickers, anything along those lines? <laughs> That's what's, we're working on the T-shirts. Okay. A lot of requests for T-shirts. We don't have a whole lot of fans, but the fans that we do have, are the coolest people in the world. Yeah. I got to talk to a, a, a kid from uh, Germany who was like, I play your songs every morning when I wake up. Wow. I showed all my friends and I love you guys. And I was like, when somebody in Germany is taught, it's the coolest thing in the world. Now I'm guessing he found out from the YouTube. YouTube. YouTube, yeah. Yeah, and the YouTube, it's just, it's really great. It's, we have small pockets of fans all around the world now, and it's incredible. Now, when you guys YouTube, well, make sure you type in the Red Coast, because if you just type in Red Coast, you get a whole bunch of British soldiers. <laughs> 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 the red coats, yes, that's and three words. Um, yeah. 
I always hated hearing stories about people meeting people they looked up to or someone they're a fan of and the guy was a jerk to them. And so anyone who's written us, I always, you know, I'm very sincere, heartfelt. Uh, I, I, we both try and be super nice to anyone who's a fan. I mean, that's, without fans, you're nothing. You're no exactly. one. You get so. that a lot nowadays, you know. You try to, you're a devoted fan, you try to write letters or anything, and you get like, okay, well, no response. Yeah. Which is not really good, you know. You're not going to keep a good clientele of like fan bases. Yeah, exactly. right. I recently met one of my biggest heroes, Conan O'Brien, and mm -hmm. he was the nicest man in the entire world. You guys were on a show? No, no, oh, no. Okay, not yet. I, I went to his show, and I okay. waited from like 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's almost as long as this, uh, the last concert we had to show up at 6 o'clock for. <laughs> and uh, I got front row seats, and he uh, he shook my hand, and we talked about five minutes, and he was the coolest guy in the world. Nice. Fingers crossed I meet Daniel Tosh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming to Fresno. I know he is. Well, I hope you guys get to meet. That's the other thing. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. The Fresno thing. We got... Someone left the comment and said, how are these guys famous yet? And then somebody else said, because they're from Fresno. <laughs> and I was like, thank you. It's actually, people think we're some small little ho-dunk town, and it, it's not even, it's a city. Right, no, it's the fifth we're, largest city in California. We were mentioned in Captain America recently. Oh, no. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't bad. They didn't rip on us. It wasn't like everything else. Okay, so it wasn't like the Nickelodeon shows that are always ripping on us. No, it was like this guy was like, it was, it was this Asian guy. And he's like a normal guy, and they were like all these different shoulders from like uh, France and Britain. And they were like, so we're just taking everybody now? And he's like, I'm from Fresno, Ace. And he had the most American accent. I was like, yes. <laughs> and the whole theater loved it, so I thought it was cool. I've been That's telling great. people, hey, I think we're hold done. Check out Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> or Con Air, where the guy dies and he falls. Dave Chappelle crashes in Fresno. <laughs> yeah, well, I think, I think a big part of the reason why Fresno got a bad rep was that television series that was titled Fresno. And that half filtered us. Yeah, it, I've seen a couple clips on YouTube. Uh, I don't know how long that show lasted. Maybe it was just an episode. Maybe it was a movie. I, I don't remember. But it's oh, a series. series. Yeah, I it, heard it, that it people really from Reno us. hated Reno 911 too. Yeah. yeah, I can see that. So, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's just funny show. Well, I think it's funny, but I'm not from Reno. We only have the small amount of time left if we're going to play the the clip of you guys jamming. So why don't we uh, plug where they can get a hold of you guys? Where they can look uh, at you. Our Facebook, Facebook, the Red Coats at Facebook.com. We have a Reverb Nation page, YouTube. The if Red you have Coats. any questions on Facebook, we will answer. Any questions on Facebook or YouTube? Uh, Untamed94 is the username. Uh, we got, we're playing, like I said, this Wednesday, Audi's Olympic. Please come out. It's $5. Uh, the sim Simply Sexy lingerie models are going to be there. Yeah, so if you don't want to... Jason's going to be there for that. I have my <laughs> kids this week. I can't bring them to that. <laughs> you could look at them and kind of listen to us, and then maybe you'll like it. And then if you come out and support us for uh, Battle of the Blaze Pass at Starline, August 3rd, uh, they have the audience vote, and that would mean a yeah, lot Yeah, we hope to, to win your vote. Yeah. We would love to, definitely. We try and put on the best show that we can live. We try and do everything that we can to make it a good show. Okay, well, I, I hate to be the typical male, but maybe if you guys get those girls for your next music video, you might get a lot of... <laughs> We've had that, yeah, some cleavage. And, yeah, but... We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, you don't want to associate a band just because they have... No, like, I know. Exactly. Yeah. 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 We want to pay attention more to show to that. I'm just exactly. Saying, no, yeah, we want yeah. the, the band to be like a downer so. or anything. Yeah. Oh, that's the other thing. People who follow us on YouTube, they're like, there's only three videos up. This should be on YouTube. So if you're watching it, it's on yeah. YouTube. We did it successfully. And our next music video is going to be for uh, the third track on our CD called Demon Blues. Sweet. Look so forward for that. It should be up soon. All right, now, do we know which song this is? It no, should be human, human battery, battery, which should, should be, be human battery? added to our EP soon. Yeah. Okay. Now this was on a CBT Weekly Roundup when uh, Gina was hosting it by herself. Originally it was she and I, and then uh, I had to go camping, and <laughs> she ended up taking over the whole thing. And so like, okay, well I'll just stay back. But uh, here is you guys' performance, and uh, thank you so much for coming. It got a little oh, scrambled in the mic, but hopefully, oh, it did? yeah, yeah. But hopefully you guys can see the. The performance aspect of it, yeah. I hope it goes well. <laughs> we can go ahead and play.
Well, welcome back, everybody. Got to say goodbye, unfortunately. Thank you guys so much for coming. <laughs> uh, the Red Coats, you got to check them out, guys. They're great, as you just saw. Um, but we'll be back next Monday, and we hope to see you guys soon, and we hope to have you guys back sometime eventually. Definitely. You know, after you make it big and <laughs> you're on Conan O'Brien in a month or whatever. <laughs> hey, I'll work out. I'll do what I can. Thank you guys for coming. And, uh... Uh, contact you. Oh, and why don't you guys give us your contact info again? One last shout out for your Oh, uh, Facebook, The Red Coats. It's The Red Coats, three words. YouTube, The Red Coats, three words. Our music video is Red Light Revolver, and uh, the music video for Demon Blues will be up soon. We have a Reverb Nation page, and we're going to be playing at Audis Olympic Wednesday, and the Wednesday after that, next Wednesday, we're playing at Starline for Battle of the Blaze Fest. Okay. So go support your local music. Right, and if for some reason you can't follow all that, but you follow CBT Weekly News, Facebook page, which is Facebook slash CBT Weekly News. We'll be putting up a link to their Facebook page as well. So have a great week, everybody. Thanks. Bye-bye.